Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to show you guys my workflow on how I created this master bathroom. Before I do, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Guys, it's been a while. I, I took a break, a 30 days break to prepare for my wedding and the wedding was successful. Thank you so much for your congratulatory messages. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And let's get back to business. I'm back. So I'm going to show you guys my workflow on this toilet. So it has been designed on Archicad and I'm going to start by going to the objects. Okay. So we want to place a shower okay so we're trying to get the settings remove some of the glasses that we don't want on the side so this is the place you edit the shower choosing the type of door you want Then we place our shower. And we just follow what I do by scaling it to what we want. I'm going to see what we are doing in our 3D. So this is the shower. So this is the shower this is this is going to be for the wc and the other smaller part is going to be for the shower so they have a separate door that means we are going to put two different uh, objects right there to create that effect So I'm using the uh, slab, the beam tool to create the base. I'm using the beam tool to create the base where the, sh the, where the shower glass is going to sit on. You can, you can always use your slab or whatever, but I just prefer to use the beam since I can work with the width, the height. Okay, I can work with the width, the height. So it's easier that way for me. You can use your slab, you can use the wall, but I choose to use the beam because of how it interacts with the, with the wall. It doesn't really connect, so I don't want any connection. As you can see, working on the height and width, Good. This is because so that water don't pass through that place. So we are trying to um, duplicate the object right there, and we are going to work on it by removing the glass on the sides. Okay.
that's the guy there that's the option right there so we have our glass left so we are looking at more options that we can add and we are good with this so we just remove the glass by the side and we are left with the door only so right there we have two objects So we want to create um, like a backdrop, a contrasting backdrop of our wall where the shower will sit on. So we want to make it black, just black, the black tiles. That's pretty much it. So we're going to place the WC first. This, the type of WC is the one that is going to be is wall mounted. It's mounted on the wall. Okay. So we, we have different option of the type. You just choose any type you want. Basically what I do is do it on Archicad and then go back to Max and probably replace it with a better WC. But here it definitely to present what I'm doing to see if it looks if it looks good or not. So I think it looks good. And that's how it looks. That's how it's going to look. You can always adjust the height of that. So I just copy the object because I want to, I'm going to change it to a shower. Okay, just that. If you notice, I just picked a different, a shower only because we are working with a custom uh, shower. We are working with it. We have already touched the settings of the shower. So we're going to also do it separately. So the shower is a different entity, different object. Just place in our window. We're actually following the design on the Archicad drawing from the client who asked us to model for them and visualize for them. So this is uh, the bar separate from what comes with the with the shower. Okay. So you can always use a different object so that you can place them at a different position. So what we want to do is go to 3D Warehouse SketchUp. Okay, and uh, we download a bath, bathtub, SketchUp bathtub, it is also compatible with Archicad. So by the time you are done with downloading, extract it, and then just drag into your Archicad. It's that simple. Make sure you download the, the Colada file. I think that that's that's more compatible. Keep the Colada file. That's more compatible. So we are converting this object into morph so that we can do away with those uh, vertices, those lines, and then convert into object again.
So we want to try to create a cabinet in wash and basin cabinet. It's going to be a custom cabinet. I intend to make the cabinet a bit wider than what was drawn because the original one is looks so small compared to the um, size of the bathroom. So it's a combination of three cabinets and a combination of uh, cabinets to create something different. So I'm going to put in the case right there. So I'm going to change the center one to draw us. So you can see this looks different. That's an existing mirror I used with an Archicad object. You just type mirror on your Archicad object and you get this particular mirror. As a mirror right there and we are going to use it for our job. And that's uh, WC right there. I downloaded it from the same website, 3D Warehouse, SketchUp file. So you can only download some of your objects there. So I'm going to add this from here. And make a copy of this same object because we want two of it on the cabinet. So our bathroom is taking shape, as you can see. Let's increase the width a bit.
So we want to create some effect on the wall. Just pay attention to this. It's, it's a very simple stuff, but um, techniques is uh, very straightforward and easy. So we made a copy of the, the cover, the cabinet, cabinet cover. So we're going to use it for this particular design. As you can see. So we want to put um, decorative, but like those small, small flowers or vases right in that space for decorative purposes. You see them around the bathtub. Uh, I don't like the bathtub we had, so I'm going to check some other ones and see if we can replace it. Now here is the bathtub, the new bathtub, we're going to delete the old one. So we want to correct this bathtub, the vertices, the lines, convert it to, to morph, convert to object again. And then place. We are going to do the same thing. We didn't select the soft, as you can see, convert to object again. Now that's fine. So just delete whatever we have right there. Delete this and then place the Correct one. Now you can see the the colors are not okay. We go back to our original morph object to try to correct it. Okay. So how we are going to select that differently and change the color. So you can see we change the color. We're going to change the tap color to. You can always work on this from the morph. Then we, we when you when you're done, you will save again as object. So you can see. So this is how to edit an object by converting it to move and work on it and then you convert it to object again. Then we are going to save it and replace the object. Okay, and then replace it. Then we'll go back to our toilet design. And you see it right there. 
Lazim right there. So we are going to create the same effect we had on our WC around the bat. Just copy the yeah, copy the rectangle, the opening. We're going to place two of it. And make a copy of that object, the casing. Rotate it to the proper position and then place it. And there we have it. So simple. Now we have our toilet and looking good. Well, we have our baths, our master's bathroom. Looking good, simple and straightforward. There's a ceiling right there, we're placing it on the second story. Let's create the top um, countertop. It's going to be totally different from a cabinet. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, the top is going to be Marble, that's the effect we want. We're getting to the end of our workflow. A bathroom workflow. I'm very sure if you had followed us from start to finish, you must have learned one or two things. Is supposed to be a POP design. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.